making no laws here. You got no right. Laws? You want to talk laws? How about the laws of God? Mixing races. It ain't natural. Supreme Court says otherwise. Can you get me a new ride in the French Ward? Just gonna take Coming it. through. Hey, now. Four wheels and an engine. You're set. Appreciate it. Ain't nothing over here. for your judge, Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Lou. first elected him to the Fifth Circuit in 1951. There's something else you should know. Those two men are Lamont Harris and Trey McCall. They were killed by a man named Hollis Dupree. Yeah, I heard he gunned him down when they showed up to his house asking for help. Hollis claims he was in self-defense, said he thought they were there to kill him. Cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial. So killing him might kick up a lot of noise. <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is gonna do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that is long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. It'll take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is your window. You follow a set route? Not since the trial started, but he still makes a stop or two on the way home. So, you can either hit him then, or go after him when he's driving around. All right. And... Watch out for the cops.
cops in the French war need to kick me loose. You got it. Get me a new ride in the French war. Just gonna take a squirt. Appreciate it. I need a supply run out to the French ward. I'll head your way now. If you're ready to move against Lou, get in. You want to hear Marcano tear Uncle Lou a new one? Lou Marcano was bribing a district judge named Cornelius Holden, is that correct? Sal Marcano spent a lot of money getting Holden in his pocket. A lot of money. Judges like that don't come cheap. And with Holden out of the picture, Sal had to find someone else to legalize gambling. And that person was State Senator Walter Jacobs. That's right. You had one fucking job, Lou. Now it's to keep holding him one goddamn piece to laugh to that room. What was I supposed to do? He wouldn't listen, Sal. It ain't my fault. Ah, uh, nothing's ever your goddamn fault. I swear, if you wasn't my brother, I'd clip you myself. Now listen here. I know a guy, a state senator named Jacobs. He's on the Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Committee. <laughs> Has a lot of influence. Can we get to him? Already have. He has a thing for fucking on women who ain't his wife. I don't want to twist this guy's balls out of the gate, you understand? We need to be smart about this. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, how about I throw him a fundraiser on the riverboat? Show him a real nice time. Get him laid. All that shit. This goddamn casino got me tapped, you understand? This goes down to shit or we're fucked. All of us. Well, I'll pick the guests myself. Make sure they know what's what. Then we'll take a nice long cruise down the bayou. Get them all liquored up. Once he sees that payday, Jacobs is gonna do whatever we want. 
Lou Marcano knew everyone. I mean, politicians, merchants, lawyers, bankers. He insisted on being called Uncle Lou and was basically the Santa Claus of the French ward. According to the police reports, Mr. Marcano and Mr. Jacobs were killed during a fundraiser on a riverboat. Thing about the bayou is it's a very big place. You could blow the living shit out of everything in sight and no one would even notice. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Assume you already mapped out where the riverboat's gonna go. Lou's pretty fastidious about that kind of thing. Always follows the same path when he goes cruising through the bayou. Doesn't want anything to happen to his beloved Delphine. Gonna be the least of his problems. You recon the area? There's an old coal dumper that they have to sail past. I've already got it rigged to blow. You just need to connect the primer cord to each block and then set it off. Detonator's down by your feet. All right. Isolate and kill. Lincoln Clay specialty. What's wrong? That's yeah, the boat thing, isn't it? Not saying it is, not saying it ain't. <laughs> you need to get over it. You were on what, 40, 45 PBRs in country? 52. That's not the point. You don't know what it's like to get onto a boat knowing full well the damn thing's gonna sink? It gets old, man. Look, you blow the coal dumper, boom, it hits the boat. Then you jump on board and kill Lou and those other assholes. 50-50, you don't even get wet. 50-50? Uh, 40-60, but still. Thirty seventy at the worst. By the blood of the Lamb, I know my soul is saved. Whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but be granted eternal life. Hell fucking yeah! That's the Holy Spirit working right there.
get you upstairs. You all fan out. Watch the rest of the boat. This sure shit wasn't an accident.
That's far enough, you wop asshole! What the fuck, Lou? Take another step, me bitch. Can you think I give a shit about some politicians? Please! Please, I, I don't even know what's going on!
Hello, Lou. Listen, I got money. You can have it. All of it. Just don't kill me. I don't want your money. I want you to send a message to your brother. Yeah. Anything. Oh, just say it. Just say it. <laughs> Lord Almighty. Walter Jacobs was killed this evening in a fiery explosion aboard a riverboat. Local businessman Louis Marcano also lost his life, along with dozens of other wealthy donors there to attend a political fundraiser. When Lincoln left his gutted body on a statue commemorating Andrew Jackson, people were horrified. I mean, how could that be anything but a political statement? Lincoln once told me he couldn't telling the other cheek that the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness. But greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or Bobby Kennedy. But there's always gonna be another Sal Marcano, another Sammy Robinson, another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. Motherfucking king! Nice work out there. The entire goddamn city's buzzing about what we done to Makano. There's no one left to stand in our way. We run this city now. You managed to take the whole district? A bit of a surprise, considering you didn't call me about the other piece of action there. Makes sense you want to stay one step ahead of us. Not give any obvious tales which way you're leaning. But I will say it's hard on our boys out there on the street. Not knowing what's actually theirs and what's not. What you need, pal, is someone who's gonna tell you what you need to hear, whether you like it or not. And so far, you've been fucking me ever since we took care of Greco. That fucking ends right now. Do it for Donnie, Lincoln. Clock is ticking on this partnership, pal. I've stuck by you. Every chop. Take your time, lad. Wouldn't want to fuck up his last piece of the city. <laughs> Don't forget. Calling this one for Scaletta. Thanks, kid. Spent most of my life getting fucked by one asshole or another. And what we got going here is a real future. Ain't no one fucking with us anytime soon. Kinda thought I'd be gay to shit by now. So anything shy of that, and I'm good. I'd prefer to be running more rackets. And by more, I mean all of them, but fuck it. I'll just wait for one of you motherfuckers to bite it. <laughs> Holy Christ! How the fuck did we make it through this shite in one piece? I thought for a certain Scaletta would have his throat slit by now. You did a bang-up job here, lad. A goddamn dream come true. Can't wait to see where we go from here. I, I have wait figured Lincoln will have killed us all by now. What we done here? Taking the city away from Marcana and doing it without killing each other? We gotta be proud of that. I'll admit it. I had my doubts, but no more. You came through just as you promised. And I'm lucky to be a part of it. We're living proof that the ways of Marcano, the lying, the backstabbing, the cheating, don't need to run in that direction. Those ways are as dead as he is. I'm 
I'm in the bayou and I need transportation. No can do, lad. Sorry. I'm in the bayou and I need transportation. Hi. I'll get her out to you right away. That's a big help. Wasting any time, are you? Your little rampage is going to attract attention. Attention from people I don't care to associate with. Yeah, imagine not. Thankfully, closing off your loose ends is as simple as tossing around some super grade. <laughs> with any luck, this will keep them off my ass. For a little while, anyway. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. There's still the matter of killing Georgie and Sal. You should get a kick out of hearing this. Who'd you send? I did it myself. Ear to ear, just like you want. Any sign of Dagamo? No. He's gone. I look everywhere. It's like he never even fucking existed. I am leveraged out the ass. Called in every favor, and none of it made a goddamn difference. We fucked. I am fucked. Oh, now that's bullshit. We still got some men. I say we hit the streets. We're gonna find that cock. Every low-life ball of piss in this city smells blood in the water. My blood. You understand? And they step over their own mother if it meant being the one to clip me. I wouldn't last 10 minutes out there. You're gonna let them come in here and fuck us? There's got to be something we can do. You call up whatever men we still have left. You tell them to meet us up there at the casino. And when Lincoln Clay shows up, we'll do everything we can to plant that goddamn nigga in the ground right next to us. That's what we can do. Go on, get the fuck out of here. Go! 
God damn it! Should have known that Marcano would go to ground at the casino. You can take the bridge up there so it's a straight shot. You know, none of this would have happened without you. <laughs> it's either this or right away in some goddamn office. And once you've killed those assholes, you come and find me. I'll be hanging around.